Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle if you are new here and welcome to my living room. I just had a Facebook video Skype interview with John Haggerty Vlogs and I'm gonna be their youtuber of the week So that video will probably be up by the time this video is up. So make sure you go and check it out I'm so excited. It's going out tomorrow and I can't wait to see it so that's a favorite of the month as well i can't believe i'm being featured on someone else's channel it's so so cool so go check them out they're so friendly and nice and i can't believe that i'm gonna be on someone else's channel so yeah this makeup is gonna look very familiar and he told me to change a setting on my camera so i think it might look a little bit better maybe so yeah i had my setup out here and i just thought i would film and just do kind of like a casual favorites because I love when these videos are kind of off the cusp and I can just share with you things I've been liking lately, like a friendly chat between amigos, you know? So I have gathered a basket full of some of my favorite things this month and I have some beauty. I also have like some bath products and a few makeup things. And yeah, we're gonna be chatting for a little while here. So if you wanna hear about the beauty items that you need to try and get in your life, then keep on watching. I guess we will start with kind of bath and skincare sort of stuff since I think I have the most of that so first of all uh oh my gosh this has been amazing I had a little travel size bottle of it and I recently purchased the full size this is the Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water so this is the eight ounce and this is only 12 bucks which really is not bad for like a lot of the skincare at Ulta it is cruelty free and paraben free and it says this is just like a refreshing spray. I used to really, really like the Clinique Moisture Surge spray, but they are not cruelty free. I have switched to cruelty free and this brand is. And everyone raves about this brand. I think this is one of the products that like people talk about too. So I tried this and it just feels so good all over your face. I took the travel size with me to Alaska and also to Michigan. I think everywhere I've been traveling lately, I took this with me and it just feels so, so amazing. So I love this. I use it like at least twice a day. It's such a good refresher and it's more affordable than the Clinique one too, but it does pretty much the same thing, but it feels more natural because it has that kind of rose water scent and it's this pretty pinky color. Oh, so, so good. I love using this at the end of the night of my skincare routine. Amazing. You need to try it. I have a few Bath and Body Works items because as you guys know, I've been really obsessed with them and they just had their semi-annual sale so really good sale prices. I have a lot of hauls from that if you want to go see them. Uh, so yeah, I have a few products from them. This is the body scrub by them. I found it 75% off. I've been using lately the Tahiti Island Dream White Sand Body Scrub. I'm trying their uh, Cucumber Cocoa Shea Scrub right now too and that one's really good as well. But this one just smells amazing. You can't get this anymore, I don't think, because it was like going out of stock at the semi-annual sale. So I tried to not show products like that in my favorites video, so sorry about that, but um, this one's just like lathers up, has like a lot of bubbles, it's really creamy, the scrub feels so good, I do this right before I shave my legs, and then those two combined just make my legs so soft, I love getting everything really like exfoliated and soft with my skin, so... This has been a fun scrub to try, and all their stuff is cruelty free as well. What is in my eyeball? Holy. Speaking of shaving, I finally got some nicer razors. I didn't like the ones I was using and I love the Venus ones with like the kind of moisture bars on them. So I just started using this one like maybe a week ago. They were on sale at Target. It is the Gillette Venus Comfort Glide in Vanilla Cream. And this is just the pack that comes with two heads and then the handle and then the little suction cup thing. So you can hang it up in your shower. And these smell really good. It's like a musky vanilla scent. Oh, and I love these because you don't need shaving cream with them. Although I do use shaving cream because the first time I got this, I tried it without any because that's usually what I do. And on my legs, it just gave me the worst razor burn for smaller areas like under your arms. You could probably get away with that. But I do use shaving cream with these. But I just love these and make my legs so smooth when I use them after the scrub. Oh, finally, I invested in some nicer razors so I can have smoother legs for the summer because my ones before that just got dull so fast and I just love those and they smell really really good so they work. Then after the shower um, I previously was really into the body creams, the Ultra Shea body creams by Bath & Body Works because for winter and spring when my skin was drier it needed kind of that thicker coverage and that's what worked but for the summer it's just too much and even their lotion is a little too heavy um, and I recently picked this up. They had one of their get a free item coupons and I've loved the smell of this. It smells just like their candle in copper coconut if you've ever smelled that, which is one of my favorites. So this is the Coco Shea Coconut Seriously Soft Body Lotion 
has 24 hour moisture, has cocoa butter plus shea butter and coconut oil, and it's really lightweight. It absorbs really fast. Love again using this on my legs to make them super, super smooth. It sinks in everywhere. Sometimes with the body creams, if I shower at night and like cover myself in it, then I wake up the next day and kind of the scent has changed and it smells kind of funky the next day and not so great. Um, but with these, that does not happen. It's very lightweight. I love the pump. It's so much easier. Just do your whole body really quick. It's a thinner consistency. It smells amazing really enjoyed this no wonder they've been promoting the coco shea line so hard finally tried it and it's actually this one item has been really really good for me so i highly recommend it if you need a lightweight lotion for the summertime another in the shower item i have been loving this brush it's by instrumental beauty and it's their home spa treatment system so it says it has rotary action to scrub away dirt and impurities. It gently exfoliates and removes dead skin to soften your whole body. So currently I have the face brush on it, which is what I've been loving to use it with. I just have a basic gel face cleanser and I'll put it on and then I will turn this on and just like go over my whole face and it spins. And you can get this at the drugstore. It's not as expensive as obviously the Clarisonic or even Clinique has a face brush out now. It even comes with the batteries, which is the best part because I like never have batteries. This specific set also has other brushes. It has a microdermabrasion sponge, which I haven't tried yet because that sounds scary, but a lot of people are into that, I guess. Has a petty smoothing stone for your feet. I don't, I tried that one and it works, but it's kind of hard to use because when it spins, like it goes, it's kind of like an awkward spinning. I don't know. So if you're trying to use it on one part of your foot, I feel like it goes everywhere, but on the spot you want it to go. It's just a little difficult to use. And then it also comes with a really big body brush as well, which I do enjoy if you're doing like a full body scrub down. Here's what it looks like. I have it in the box. So compared to the face one, it's a lot bigger and it does work really well. The bristles are really really soft and on the face brush they are as well um so if you're gonna do like self tanner you really really wanted to exfoliate this one is good it's not that harsh again the bristles are pretty soft but i just usually keep the face head on there so it's nice that it's interchangeable so it's like four tools in one but i really like the face one it makes my face feel so so smooth it's like a really in-depth scrub but it's not like harsh or painful so if you had really heavy makeup on that day this is really good i feel like it really gets all that extra foundation that kind of seeps into your pores out so i've been really really enjoying this I believe you can get this at rite aid and a lot of other drugstores and it's pretty inexpensive i got this through octoly um but that was my honest review i've honestly been like obsessed with this face brush I like it way more than um, an Avon one I have that's supposed to be way more high-tech and expensive. This one does the trick. I think this is my last showery item or Bath & Body Works item. I've just been obsessed with the scent Bonjour Paris, so I've been using the fine fragrance mist in it like crazy. I've made quite the dent. This went 75% off at the semi-annual sale, but I think I bought it before then, so I had to pay a little bit more for it. Um, this has like marshmallow but also orange blossom in it it's like a very sweet perfumey scent with a tiny bit of floral it's such a weird combination but i've been loving this scent i love the body cream in this to use on my hands right before bed oh it's just so girly it's unlike anything i've ever smelled it has that super sweetness to it but also the floral oh i just love it i love this scent so much and the packaging on this bottle is so pretty Oh, well, that's been looking real cute on my dresser. Oh, just kidding. One more Bath & Body Works product. I have the Coco Loco um, little handy back hand sanitizer. This has been in my purse. This went in my little TSA liquids bag at the airport when I was flying. This smells a lot like the lotion. It has that copper coconut smell to it. So I've been loving this certain kind of coconut that's kind of like an edible coconut. It's not like the pineapple-y tropical version that sunscreen smells like, but it's like a really good like authentic kind of raw coconut smell. I've been obsessed with this scent and I love the new packaging on these. They are so cute and they spill less than the other ones and I, they're just so adorable to hold it in your hand. I've been obsessed with this one. It's been in my purse for a little while now. Okay, now we're on to makeup for a little while. First of all, ah, I've been obsessed with my Urban Decay and Naked 3 eyeshadow palette. I was getting kind of not super into eyeshadow for a while i didn't really want to use it unless it was a special occasion um but i've really been into the matte colors limit 
which is right here and then nooner which is basically the same color but slightly darker and i've been loving those and then i'll use some of these on my bottom lash line if it's like a special event or a weekend but mostly just those two matte ones i've been loving to use in my crease i think that's what i'm wearing today actually and on my lower lash line a little bit so i've just i've been loving those i love matte shades for the crease and then one that's a little lighter for all over and one that's a little darker for like the very outer bit and i just i love like purpley colors you can't even tell that they're super purple when you put them on unless you're pairing them with something else from this palette but i just love this color scheme i love that these are like trending colors still this palette is by no means new but i've kind of rediscovered it and started using it a lot again and some of the more shimmery colors are a little chalky but again just those mattes are amazing and clearly i like to wear a lot of purple lipstick so i kind of like matching my eyeshadow a little bit so that's just been my go-to lately if i want to look a little more fancy than just kind of like taupe and brown in the crease this was a totally random thing i picked up at walmart one time it's a hard candy brand if you couldn't tell i've been doing just cruelty free makeup and body stuff and all of that lately so i really really like hard candy because it's affordable you can find it at walmart and they have a lot of great products i've done a lot of reviews on them in the past on my channel um and yeah a lot of people talk about this their bronzer i guess i feel like it's relatively popular maybe i feel like definitely people i know and people on instagram have posted about it but this is the glow all the way bronzer in tiki which is the lightest color and i have blushes from this collection which i don't think they make anymore so i was upset about it but i just felt like getting a new bronzer usually i just get matte ones to kind of contour with but this one's baked has a lot of different kind of shades in it and it's very light and usually bronzers are way too dark for me i like something pretty subtle but something to warm up the face with so i'm wearing this today i just use this kind of big fluffyish brush i don't contour with this or anything like i usually do with bronzer but i kind of just do like a really messy job i just kind of slap it on there and it's slightly shimmery not a ton slightly powdery but not bad so you can't even really detect it it has slight shimmer it just kind of warms up the face so i just take it with this big fluffy brush this is the real techniques blush brush which i don't super like for blush sometimes i do but lately just this has been the perfect size for this i will just kind of do on my cheekbones and then the perimeter of my face my forehead my jawline and down my nose a little bit just super messy jaw but it always seems to like just look good and it just works and I think this is like nine bucks at Walmart, but it looks so pretty in the package and, it, and it's just, it warms up my face. It's been really fun for summer and I think it just adds a little extra something to my face because I can look very pale and pasty very easily. So this kind of helps a little bit. So if you're a fellow super pale girl and you can't really find a bronzer that works for you, try this one, girl. It's good. It's good. I really, I really have been liking it. Something about it just works for me. Next, I've been absolutely loving this mascara for the past few months. I randomly pulled it out of my collection. It's a little sample size of the Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. Packaging is super cool. It's like gunmetal. It's a little vine texture on it. And it kind of reminds me of the Benefit Roller Lash because the wand is curved and kind of similar, but it doesn't clump as much as that one. It's not as wet. And this just makes my lashes so dark. Ever since the first night I tried this out and wore it just on a whim because I had no other mascaras at the time, I just have been getting so many compliments on my eyes, like so many more people just like making comments about my makeup and saying good things about it ever since I started using this. So it's literally magical. It's really easy to apply. You can do it pretty quick, even one coat, one and a half coats you still look good. I've been wearing pretty much just this mascara like exclusively for the past few months and I've just been getting so many compliments and then I realized they don't make it anymore. So I'm really sad. So let me know what your favorite cruelty-free mascara is because this just does such a good job. It really defines, gives you a lot of volume and just makes them look so dark. It's the perfect amount of wetness where it makes your lashes look just like really really amped up but they don't clump and stick together and it's just it's just the perfect texture this has been so so perfect so i'm gonna like hunt on amazon for this even though anything i find now will probably be old because this was kind of older in my collection but i didn't open it until recently so i think it was okay but i've just oh been so in love with this it's amazing next i have two lip items uh one is low key because for work i just i just don't feel like having a full-on matte liquid lip which is usually my go-to because then you have to babysit it all day and every time you take a sip of water you have to like wonder if it's coming off and i just don't feel like going to the bathroom and checking on it constantly so 
I randomly found this in my collection a few days ago and I've been wearing it every day since then. And I've tried this in the past and I don't think I liked it too much, but I decided to try it again because I figured a lip stain was just what I need. This is by The Balm. It's the Staniac. This is a super mini version and this is a hint of tint for cheeks and lips. I haven't really tried it on my cheeks lately and it's just kind of this jelly formula and it looks super dark in the tube when you blend it out it is quite sheer but it does give you some nice color on your lips so i don't have foundation lips when i go into work so when you blend it out that's what it looks like it lasts a decent amount of time i don't really notice it like wearing off and looking patchy i really like it it's quite subtle but it does give you some long lasting color without you having to babysit it and ColourPop ultra matte lips are my all-time favorite liquid lipstick matte because they do not transfer and then I, it's so hard for me to pick a favorite but this one really cool limited edition packaging has just what i've been going to lately it's pretty low key this was from the holiday collection it might be permanent now i don't know i haven't been paying as close attention to ColourPop because they were just whew, making my pockets real empty real fast so this is in the shade perky and i feel like you could definitely dress this up or down this could be Kind of an everyday chill color but if you have kind of more dramatic eye makeup going on you could also wear this to go out or on the weekend so it can really go either way so i really like that about it i feel like most of my colors are either really dramatic and they're definitely for the weekends only or they're like a light pink and you know there's too casual so this has been right in the middle i think i've been reaching for this one more than anything else this month i always have a zillion like all-time favorites though so it's really hard to pick, but I think this is a good representation of colors I've been going for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in a comment what you've been loving this month. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to join our Glam Bam fam, and I'll see you in my next video. Three, two, one, bam!